There's no movement. All right, there is movement. Abel Ruiz now has a chance and he's finally done it. Abel Ruiz gets his first goal in the Premier League. Lacios out wide to Jose Arnaiz. Might be the right chance for us now to do something. Cross played in. Abel Ruiz, come on, he's done it. Abel Ruiz is the man of the moment as he scores a fabulous goal. Welcome back guys to another episode of the Barcelona B career mode series. Last episode we somehow managed to kind of pull things back as we got ourselves a few good results in the Premier League, a win and a draw and also we progressed to the next round of the Carabao Cup which is a tournament we are really focusing on so that we can get ourselves that first trophy in this series. But even though we had a great episode we're still 14th and I would love to try and make our way to maybe the top 12 in today's episode. We do have a game in hand over most teams so it might actually be possible but we do have some really tricky games in today's episode one being Arsenal Brighton as well and Burnley those are some tough games especially this one against Arsenal but if we can get a result against Arsenal you never know things could go really good for us also, you guys would have noticed that the setup is a bit different. I've actually moved out from my parents' place and I'm now living in a flat, which is about like 10 minutes away from my college. And yeah, I'm pursuing a business degree, so I had to, you know, live nearby college so I can, you know, focus both on YouTube and also on college. So yeah, that's exactly what I've done. So hopefully you guys do understand why lately I have been a bit inconsistent with this Barca B series. But hopefully, now that I've settled in, I can upload more often. Also, I'm planning to get a green screen to try and upgrade my content for FIFA 19. So hopefully we'll have the green screen soon and then that should make my content a lot better to watch. Also, you guys smashed over 400 likes on the previous episode, which I think is just insane. So I can't thank y'all enough for your support on this series. It just shows you guys want more episodes. So I try and bring as many episodes for you guys as possible. And also, if you guys want more episodes, make sure to drop a like on this video. It really helps the channel. Drop a comment. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's move on. All right, guys, press conference. First question, what has been your favorite moment managing this team so far? I think it's got to be that win against Millwall we had in the previous episode to progress to the next round of the Carabao Cup. It was just such an intense game after going down, managing to come back. I just love that moment and I think we're going to have such moments a lot in this series because of the fact that how intense every single game is and the fact that we're fighting to avoid relegation. Alright guys, next question, are you going to buy a goalkeeper as Ortola is 24 years old and is 70 rated? Probably not because I'm really happy with one of our youth academy prospects and Maxi Mendes who's got a potential of between 85 to 94 and right now is 63 rated. I might start start training him soon because I really want him to be a part of the team. I think he could be a fantastic player and also the whole point of this series is trusting the youth. So by promoting him at one point in this career mode, we will be doing that. So yeah, no goalkeeper. We will be promoting one of our youth academy prospects. Final question of the day is not really related to this series, but it's about the World Cup. And you guys know we talk everything about football during these press conferences. So who do you think is the World Cup star player so far? Probably Luka Modric for me. That performance he put in in Croatia's last game was absolutely brilliant. He's the best midfielder in the world and it's it, there isn't even a comparison. Luka Modric is absolutely unreal. I hate the fact that he plays for Real Madrid. Regardless, it looks like Croatia are the team to beat in the World Cup. But to be fair, even France play well, Belgium are very good. So I'm not sure who's going to win the World Cup. But for me, Luka Modric is the star player of this World Cup for sure. And that is it guys for today's press conference. If you guys have any more questions, put them down in the comment section below. For now, let's move on. Player of the episode this time goes to Jose Arnaiz. You guys voted for him. Honestly, I thought you guys were going to vote for Abel Ruiz. But even Arnaiz was brilliant. Scoring a couple of goals, one assist and got one man of the match award. So Arnaiz is your player of the episode. I have made a few changes to the team for this one against Arsenal, but I'm still going with a very solid lineup. A 4 1 2 1 2 formation again because it's been really working well for us. I mean, we were struggling before this formation, and after that, we've not lost a single game in the last three that we've played. So I guess we will need this kind of a formation against Arsenal, who are very good at playing those quick passes through the middle and, of course, creating opportunities. I think that this might help stop them. And hence, I've also decided to play both Oriol Busquets and Rivera in the same lineup because. I feel like extra defensive players could help and they're technically decent as well so Angel Gomez starts, Abel Ruiz starts, it's a strong team, let's get the job done. 
This is the Arsenal 11 and they've got a solid team. Check and goal, Montreal holding, Kolasinac, Bellerin, Ramsey El Nini, Da Silva, I'm not sure who he is. But they aren't going with their strongest 11. I think they're underestimating us, which could cost them. Although they have a lot of reinforcements on that bench, so we know this is going to be a tricky game. They are starting Lacazette and we know he's got the ability to just walk past the defense because of how good he is. This is going to be a cracking game. We need a bit of support from the left back Juan Miranda and here goes Miranda. We know he's quick, but decides to whip in the cross. What was Angel Gomez doing there? Cleverly finds Carlos Alenia. Alenia to Abel Ruiz, now back to Alenia, could be an opportunity, Alenia with a brilliant cross but Rob Holding did really well to get that one away. The idea to go for a whipped cross from, of course, Alenia was brilliant. Cleverly done to find Carlos Alenia again, back to Angel Gomez, brilliantly done to Abel Ruiz and Abel Ruiz gets himself another Premier League goal. But that pass from Angel Gomez, or what, I'm not sure who it was, I think it was Angel Gomez who had the final pass because... That flick was just beautiful to just even watch. Look at that, Alenia waits, finds Angel Gomez, and oh, he nutmegs him. He absolutely destroys Rob Holding there. Take a look at that again. For The, the finish was just brilliant, but I got to look at that nutmeg because that was simply beautiful. Have a look at that again. I think here, Alenia makes the pass, and then Angel Gomez with quite possibly one of the best assists in FIFA. Oh, look at that, man. That, is, that, should, that should be illegal. What a goal from Barca B. Oh, this is not looking good. Ramsey now getting in behind our defense. What an interception that was from Juan Miranda. Otherwise, Reese Nelson would have been through. That is half time. We somehow leading. I have no idea. This 4 1 2 1 2 formation has been game changing for us. Let's hope we can hold on to this lead. Angel Gomez gives it away as well. And now Lacazette might have an opportunity for Arsenal. Here goes Alexander Lacazette. Cuts it back to Reese Nelson. Who gets the shot off. But let's be honest. That was a terrible effort. Gets past one. Ozil who's been brought on as a sub. Now Lacazette out wide to Brahimi. What an opportunity for Arsenal. And they've actually wasted that. I think Brahimi was offside. No, no it's a goal kick. What a chance Arsenal have wasted. We've got about 10 minutes left in this game, so I'm making a few substitutions. I'm bringing on Vitinho for Angel Gomez. And also I will bring on Palacios for Oriol Busquets, because Busquets is running out of stamina and I need that extra pace and physicality in midfield that Palacios will provide. Alenia decides to put in a brilliant cross. Palacios almost scored a bullet header there. Ah, not the best of headers to be fair. He had the power, but just couldn't guide that one in. What a cross from Alenia though. Oh no, not a late goal once again. Aubameyang finds Monreal. Come on, defend. Kick Pierre. He did brilliantly there. I have no idea how we've done this, but we've actually beaten Arsenal in the Premier League away from home. That in itself is a crazy achievement. And that is a huge win for us in the Premier League. And I can't be more happy than this. Let's keep on pushing, guys. Now, four games in the Premier League without a defeat. This switch to this 4-1-2-1-2 formation has really changed the game for us. Let's hope we can keep up with these kind of performances. Well, not good news at all as Kick Pieri has suffered a pulled hamstring and he will be out for like seven days. That's not good news at all. But we do have a youth squad monthly report. Let's see how some of our players are doing. Pablo Munez, 70 to 90 potential. If his potential, his maximum potential, drops below 90, I will release him. Jose Enrique, what a keeper we have here. 76 to 94 potential. Mariano Garcia, we're gonna be rejecting him now. 70 to 86 potential, but this guy we're certainly gonna keep. 81 to 94 potential, and he's already 64 rated. We are gonna be promoting him to the first team very soon. He's the keeper I was talking about. This guy could be the future of this club. We are now out of the relegation zone with a point gap of four, which is brilliant. Let's hope we can keep this up and maybe push for a top half finish. I think that should be a realistic goal that we can achieve. It will also tick off some of our board objectives, which are pretty difficult like this one. Um, within two seasons in the Premier League finish mid table, if we can get that this season itself, I think we'll get a good bonus, which will help us, you know, increase our transfer budget and probably make better signings because right now we don't really have that many funds but anyways we now come up against Brighton who are 17th in the league this should be a game that we definitely get the result again sticking with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation for this Lewa will play as Kami's our top assister so it kind of makes sense giving him more opportunities Abel Ruiz and Arnaiz head the attack Alenia Palacios Rivera the midfield and our defense is pretty much the same apart from Cuenca coming in for of course the injured Kik Pieri but anyway strong team let's get the job done 
Could be an opportunity now for Brighton, Bjordo and Kukurela intercepts, but now an opportunity for Locadia who gets the shots off. Thankfully he misses. Abel Ruiz finds Palacios once again and here goes Palacios on the attack. I see Abel Ruiz making a good run, cross played in and Shiletto, Shiloto I guess gets it away. This crossing to Abel Ruiz tactic works really well in this game because he causes a lot of problems in the box. Palencia with a solid challenge, cross played in to Abel Ruiz with the header but main par. What kind of a name is that but regardless, good save and good header. We're playing some good football so far at least. Abel Ruiz waits for the run of Arnais. Arnais makes the run. Here's Jose Arnais taking the ball wide. Could be an opportunity to cross. Abel Ruiz heads it back to Leiva. Leiva finds Palacios. Now Arnais. Arnais crossing it into Abel Ruiz. That is some brilliant football. We deserve a goal there, man. What a chance wasted by Abel Ruiz. Ah, Clever pass to Leiva, who's had a brilliant game so far. Arnais with a good touch. Still Arnais finds Abel Ruiz, who goes with the shot. He's been so unlucky in this game, he's missed a few sitters and then that hits the cross crossbar as well. You know what, he's just been unlucky. Brighton have a corner, the header, oh man. We really dominated this half only to concede a bullshit goal like that, come on EA. It just had to happen, I mean, four games in a row without a defeat, it just had to come and... To concede a goal like that, it's just so frustrating. But we still have one half of this game left. If Abel Ruiz can, you know, get back his luck, we might just be able to get something out of this game because we are playing some good football. Carlos Alenia turning his man like he wasn't even there. And then the drag back brilliantly to create space. Abel Ruiz with a clever first touch pass back to Abel. Can't get the shot off. Ball finds its way to Leiva. How is this main par guy saved that? That's an insane save from him. Lucadia puts in a cross, that's a very good cross and what a block that was from Palacios, otherwise 2-0 down for sure. I'm making a few attacking changes for the rest of this game because there's not enough time left and we need to try and get the equaliser. So Perez and Vitinho come on, let's see what happens. Oh no, what even was that? Defending, big chance wasted by Brighton. Let's just clear the ball away. Holy shit, that could have been easily 2-0 to Brighton. They've had the better half for sure. And I don't think we deserve to even draw this game because we've been shambolic in this second half. One last chance. Abel Ruiz finds our nice. Oh my god, what an opportunity for Perez who shoots and scores. We've done it. The equaliser, the unbeaten run is now five games going. Let's go guys. What an equaliser from Perez who we brought on as our cam. I wasn't expecting the ball to get to him but somehow it took a deflection. He got the ball and guess what? He slotted that one into the back and then what a huge point this could prove to be. Abel Ruiz with the pass. Look at that. It took a deflection there. Perez got it and he actually not make the player as well. Let's go guys, we've got ourselves a point from this one. What an intense game of football. As I've said many times in this series, every game in this series is unbelievably intense. In that second half when we were 1-0 down, we suffered. We weren't the best team but somehow towards the end we managed to get that goal and we get ourselves a point against Brighton. They're also the team we'll be facing in the Carabao Cups quarterfinal so this was a good warm-up we know they're going to be a tough opponent but regardless i'm really happy with the point that we've got against them i am getting some more training done oriol busquets is now a 70 rated player which is awesome to see angel gomez kick pieri abel ruiz palacios all doing well in training and i'm probably going to train them for a while now because i want these players to get higher rated we sent our scout to brazil to bring us some talents and let's see if he's actually done that so it's time for the monthly scouting report renato pereira this guy looks to be a really talented player 71 to 94 potential and his base overall seems high as well 56 to 76 i am really happy about that so let's sign him in oh wow this one's this one looks even better francisco tavares 75 to 94 potential that's crazy good let's sign him up anyone else good nah not impressed with any of the others but we've now got two really good youth academy players from brazil let's see how they are doing so renato pereira is already 63 rated which i think is fantastic he's got good freaky accuracy we might promote him very soon francisco tavares he's got decent pace i guess he's also a left midfielder both in the same position but 
I'm really happy with those two players coming into our youth academy. Up next, we've got ourselves a tremendous challenge. Now, you might be thinking, what, Burnley is in a tremendous challenge, but, well, yes it is, because Burnley are second in the league with 22 points, we are 12th in the league with just 13 points in comparison to them, so, yes, this game against Burnley is going to be massive, it's away from home. I'm not hoping much from this because Burnley aren't good, but if we can get a draw, I'll be really happy. A win, I'd be over the moon. But anyways, let's take a look at some of the stats of the Premier League. So, we do we have any of the Barca B players in the top 25 in terms of goals? No, we don't. In terms of assists, maybe? No, we don't. That is interesting. Clean sheets, maybe? Yes, Ortola is in there with three clean sheets. Anyways, time to play Burnley. Kick Pieri is back in the lineup, which I think is big news, and this is the team that I've gone for. Of course, I am sticking with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. It's kind of turning out to be my favorite formation even in this series. Angel Gomez was very impressive in the first game we played with him, so he keeps his spot in that cam role. Palacios starts as well. It's a solid team. Let's hope we can get the job done. Cross played in, come on, get it away. What even was that? Therefore, with the header, he probably should have done better as the keeper was off his line. There you have it, half time against Burnley. We're facing a team that are second in the Premier League, so I expected that they'll play some good football, but they've completely dominated us in this first half. Not many chances to show you guys, but overall, I've struggled to keep possession against this Burnley side. They're proving out to be a really tough opponent. Alenia plays this one through to Abel Ruiz. Might be an opportunity for us to take the lead. It's Abel Ruiz. And he's wasted that chance. I've always told you guys, Amber Ruiz is a great striker, but he's got a finishing problem. Sometimes he misses the easiest of chances. Wells, opportunity for Burnley again. Barnes, now he's onside and he hit the post there. Could have been 1-0 easily. Alenia, ah oh nice. Cleverly done to find Palencia. Big chance for us to score. Palencia gets the shot off. Let's go, guys. We get ourselves a late goal for once in this series as we make it 1-0 against Burnley. And it's the captain, the leader of this side, that gets us the goal. Palencia. Take a look at that touch he took to get away from the last man. And then the finish was great. 1-0 Barca. He's gone inside and he managed to get the cross. And this is not looking good. That was a decent effort and it was only a few centimetres away from going in. Thankfully, it didn't and we get ourselves the three points from this one. Huge three points considering how well Burnley and Sean Dyche have done this season in the Premier League. So, really happy with the result. That huge win in the Premier League for us puts us into the top half of the table for the first time in this series. We are now on 16 points and we're only six points off the top four. Can you even imagine the scenes if we get European football in our first season? That would just be absolutely insane. Anyways, we shouldn't think I had that ahead because, you know, football can change in like a few moments. So, anyways, we've got Bournemouth, we've got Brighton, and we've got Wolves and Fulham in the next episode. Some interesting games. Let's hope we can get the job done. Before we end off the video, it is time for you guys to vote for your informed play of the episode. Your two nominees. Number one being Angel Gomez, who was brilliant in that first game against Arsenal. A wonderful assist as well. Your second nominee is Sergi Palencia, who scored the winner in our previous game. Very solid as a right back and going forward as well, got the job done for us. So if you guys want to vote, click the i button on the top right of your screen. That is it for today's video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on this one. As I said, 400 likes again would be absolutely insane. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 18 career mode content.